Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm I'm nervous at the same time, also excited, also stoked. Like, oh, this is so good. So long story short, I rescued another houseplant. Finally it happened. I think this is like a month break. I'm sorry for smirking, but the sun is really intense today. But anyway, I think this is like a month later since my last save slash rescue mission from the dumpsters or trash containers. And today finally is another day that I did it. I found a plant and this one, guys, this one I think will blow your mind. I think it will blow your mind. And I don't think I'm exaggerating this time, guys. <laughs> so we'll get to that. But before that, oh my gosh, this is so difficult to stay with my eyes open. The sun is like, what the heck? So about today's video. So I want to start with a little jump out of reality. Go take you along on a little vacation that we went on with my fiance and our puppies. <laughs> this was like the quirkiest and the most silly and young wild spirited persons think we did in a while so i'll take you along there and then we'll jump into my house plant section like the, the rescue mission of this plant and i'll go ahead and take you along to the other room because in this room this plant did not fit here's a little spoiler guys um this is a pretty tall plant it's it's taller than me and it's flipping cool <laughs> i'm so freaking out guys i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it to be honest but we're here <laughs> so i'll put a timestamp over here if you wanna just you know skip my little vacation with my puppies and fiance time and just go straight to plenty business i completely understand wanna go there go there but if you're still here let me share a little silly stuff with it. <laughs> we were sitting with my fiance. It was Sunday night. On Monday was bank holiday here in Lithuania, so we did not need to go to work. So we're just hanging around, just watching a modern family TV show on computer and chatting about life. And you know what? My fiance was like, it was, by the way, it was midnight. My fiance was like, we should go to the seashore. I was like, <laughs> don't be silly it's over 300 kilometers or like almost four hours of drive only to one side and we have only one day until we need to go back to work and then i was like no no no, no. D don't talk nonsense okay he let it go and we still kept on watching the tv show and he like after one episode came back to this but i think we should go like you know we should go there and just be silly be young don't pack anything just go straight there and I was like, fluff this. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's flip and do this. Why the heck not? I mean, who needs sleep? We'll get there at about 4 a.m. We'll have like a couple hours to sleep in the car and then we can go on adventures. And he was like, yep, that's the plan. And I was like, this is like a very, very stupid plan. And he was like, yep, let's do this. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> so what happened in five minutes, we packed stuff. So we went on, sit in the car, we listened to music, sing along to the radio. And all this time in my mind, oh my gosh, what the heck are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here? We could wake up tomorrow, you know, all nicely in our bed and have a good day. Nope. We went to the seashore. It took us almost four hours. Uh, I think I even have a video where I show you that at about 2.40, 2, 2 like 40 past 2 in the morning, we were still driving to the seashore and we did. And we did not, of course, book any hotels and stuff like that. Like, who does that? We drive to the nearest uh, seashore slash forest area parked the car and went to sleep so we're sleeping in the front seat in the back seat was sleeping yakari my german shepherd and balu was sleeping on my knees so like on myself warming myself which was so great because the night was so flipping cold especially close to the flipping sea where the wind is crazy <laughs> but we did it and you know what we went to sleep sleep at about 4 a.m and woke up at about 6 a.m so we woke up after two hours of nap in the car which, let me tell you, to my back wasn't the best decision ever, but anyway. But the coolest stuff was that we knew that we're sleeping next to the sea. So like about 50 meters away from us is flipping seashore. So we drank a bit of water and went straight to the seashore and it was so beautiful. But it was so flipping cold, guys. <laughs> so I am so happy that I'm glad that I took a hat. My fiance didn't and he was freezing so much. So at the end I gave him my hat and put on just simple like hoods that I had from my coat. <clears throat> 
but it was extremely cold. The wind was crazy. But the view, the smell, the sound of waves just, you know, blew our mind off. Like, it, it's 6 a.m. We're flipping, feeling like we're hangover because we just slept two hours in the car. So we're not feeling the best, but the puppies were so happy. They were so curious. And that made us stoked and curious. I mean, this was the first time our puppies saw the sea and the first time they touched the beach sand, which is so, you know, different from the outside that we have here. So it was so cool. Let me show a little clips of that first hour of morning. Whoa, look at those mushrooms. So yeah, it was really cold as you can tell from us, we we're just like, you know, just trying to stay warm and positive, but it was not, it was not going well. So we decided to drive to the nearest shop and look for a hat for Agnes, at least for a hat. And for something warm to eat, I bought some energy drinks, which we never drink to be honest, but in that time it felt like appropriate drink. And also, I also bought a couple sandwiches and a huge, I did not found a hat in the first store. So I bought this, I actually bought it for a blanket just to put around us. And then, you know, what i thought we still need a hat this is way too cold to be on the beach so we went to another store we did found a, a hat which is a bit funny because it was the flag of lithuania you know very patriotic hat but there were no other options and you know what it worked it was warm and we went back to the seashore and spent like three hours there just playing with puppies running around on the shore hiding from the wind from time to time in our blanket you know and it was the best time ever so right now i'll insert that like that footage and then we will go back to, to Vilnius. Thank you. 
And after all of that fun adventures, we were so flipping cold, but so flipping happy in our hearts. We thought, okay, we do not need to spend more time in here because it's way too cold. The puppies in the car, they were just like calm as heck. We were laughing because they looked so high. <laughs> Their eyes were so small from all of the adventures, all of the digging from the holes and running in the sea. So they were so, so full of you know of everything and yeah this is our little adventure but anyway this is for the adventures like portion of today's video and right now it's time to go to the rescue mission so i'll be honest i was a little bit like down lately because i have been just scrolling through all of my neighborhood but i just kept on being unsuccessful in rescuing plants because i could not find any and to be honest it seems like the plant rescue missions are getting a little bit more popular here people are not that you know ashamed anymore to take plants from the garbage containers or you know just give them a second chance and i get like a ton actually of uh, messages from you guys not only from vilnius or lithuania here specifically but also from all over the world and i love when you just show me a picture look at this plant i just found it outside somebody left it i flip and rescued it you inspired me and i'm like heck yeah it's so flipping cool to see all of your stories so thank you so much for sharing today i'm gonna share another one and it's oh okay so today morning i woke up we need to go back to work i work from home thank god it's my lunch break right now and on our way back home so like two minutes left until my uh, apartment building i noticed this bush and in this bush is standing I, first off i noticed a huge leaves that are not that common here especially in that bush that it was standing in and i was like wait a damn minute that is something different and then i noticed that it's a flipping tree sized plant but it's standing hiding in the bush in a pot so in a plastic nursery pot there was standing this plant hiding in the bushes and i had two like theories either somebody left it there because they will want to plant it outside but this is a plant it's a tropical plant it won't survive here so that doesn't make any sense and another option was that probably somebody just decided to get rid of it but they did not have the heart to throw it away into the trash container or you know just break it into pieces and throw it away or something so they just decided to put it in near the bushes so it will receive a little bit of sun and who knows maybe we'll survive that was my like idea because it was standing in the middle of the area that it, it's like public place nobody owns it and it's just a simple bush and there is a plant and i was like should i take it because at the same time it's kind of interesting place to find it it's not a garbage container or anything but also i went back home and i was like let's do this <laughs> so i did so here is a clip of me uh, being back so without dog but already with the back and ready for action what's up baby oh my gosh what's up what do you want you so good you so good you so good oh my gosh you so good Ta-da! This is huge, guys. So right now it's actually standing in my other room. So I'll go to my other room. Somehow I'll try to put a camera setup out there and we will go through this plant. I will show you all of the leaves, all of the branches. I think I want to give it a shower just to clean off somebody else's homes like dust and make it like a fresh start for this plant. And I also think I want to repot it because it's growing in this very weird soil mixture it looks like somebody just digs some some dirt outside and put it in the pot which is not ideal and also it has ants so i mean i think maybe they already ran away into my apartment nobody knows while it was standing you know while i was working the first part of the work day anyway let's get to another room and see what we will do with it because it's something <laughs> oh did i say what i found i think it is a huge avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree would be so proud of me at this moment, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm freaking out. So it's huge, huge avocado tree. I'm not sure who and why and how grew it because I have my small do you see? I think you see. I have my small uh like experiment here. 
this after winter it looks a bit sad i think i need to report it but i have been tying this avocado tree like a bonsai and just making you know different random cuts on it to see if it will branch out and stuff like that so just a little experiment that i'm working on it's not looking epic but just wait until i'll put it out into my balcony where the sun will hit it every single day it's gonna be very happy and awesome so we'll get there later on but right now we'll go ahead to talk about this crazy this crazy avocado that i have in the other room and it's huge the leaves on this thing are like this size where i'm gonna put it i guess that's a problem for svetlana in the future after like 20 minutes so not my problem right now <laughs> okay let's get into another room here is a flip and reveal of this plant please ignore the dirty wall in the back and random stuff you know anyway oh my gosh oh my gosh look at the size of this leaves guys oh, i am so flipping stoked this is so tall i mean <laughs> look at this look at this it's taller than me guys it's taller. <laughs> what the heck Oh, I'm so happy. This is so cool. I love the new leaves. This one is the newest and it's still so soft. But also some older leaves have some damage. So right now I want to go through the plant, see if there is no pest problem before I do anything further. Oh yeah, we have pests. Look at that. Do you see those? Bam. Now you see. Okay, yeah. Probably this is why it ended up... Uh, oh, there is a spider. Oop, spooky. Okay, so probably this is why it ended up in the outside slash trashed. Yep, I can also see them here on the very top. Can you see those tiny yellowish spots over here? I mean, here on the leaf as well. Oh, dang. Yep, we have big, big problems. So, right... Oh my gosh oh shizzle okay we have lots of them do you see all of these brown spots it's not a part of this tree this are pests oh yikes okay yep the problem is bigger than i thought we shall baby we shall baby number two babies anyway okay yeah Okay, let me think. I also can see that here is a small branch coming out as well. Oh my gosh, look at all those pests. Okay, 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 let me think about it. Also, the soil. Look at this, guys. This definitely looks like a simple soil from the outdoors. You know, not a special mix with anything. Look at the sleepy dude. So tired. So tired from adventures. This one. So tired from adventures too. So adorable. Anywho. A few moments later. Alright, so right now I actually went through the internet just in case. I had my suspicion that this, this was scale. But just in case, you know, like measure your whatever you are sewing 10 times and cut it only on the 11th time. This is what my grandma used to say. So... <laughs> I went ahead checked and this is flipping scale. I'm not that scared of this pest to be honest because I had some experience with it and they seem to be really easy to get rid of. Also they are, I mean they are not that hard. So just simple uh, rubbing alcohol should do the trick. The worst case is that this plant is kind of infested in the small crevices where the leaves are still pretty like thin and gentle. So what I want to do right now, what is the plan to go ahead, find my rubbing alcohol and put it on the wipes and just wipe as many of those damn scales as I can find and the rest of them will be uh, like cured by the pest treatment I have so I have this uh, liquid that I put into my watering can and I water the plant and the plant soaks in that poison which is not poisonous to the plant itself so it's not a problem to the plant but it's a problem and it's a poison to the pests scales included the plan is to go ahead right now to rub off as many of the pests as i can find and then i'll go ahead to prune some leaves because some of them are already on the edge of extinction already browning and not that so and not that beautiful also infested like horribly infested with scales so i'll just cut off those this will make my life way easier and 
I mean, there is no purpose to keep those leaves that are looking horrible and are not helping the plant whatsoever. And then I'll go ahead and report the plant into the new soil and this is the plan. So let's go ahead, go into my bathroom and do this part. So this is where I noticed that my audio for some reason cut off. I think my mic just died and maybe I just need to charge it or something. But here I'm just saying that I will, I'm going to use this cactus mix because it's like the best option in my opinion since this avocado is already growing in a pretty sandy soil mix. This one should be a nice addition in my opinion and also I won't be adding anything else. And yes, I might be afraid of all of the crawly creatures, you know, that came into the spot while it was standing outside like ants and other bugs. But also since I'm going to use this anti-pest treatment, in about 10 minutes I am not that worried about them, so I'm just gonna plop it out of the spot and put it straight into the new soil mix without playing around with the roots since the avocado trees in my personal experience are pretty tricky, pretty difficult to work with, so I think this should be like the best decision I can make right now. So the worst thing about this is that I could not anyhow take it out of the spot it was just completely stuck the soil mix felt like a rock piece so it was just not impossible to like make the roots not so hard around the pot and i was hitting it and playing around but nothing was working so i knew the only choice for me right now left is to take a knife is to cut the pot and take the plant out like that because since this pot wasn't special to a simple nursery plastic pot i was not that scared to you know of losing it the like the main point for me was to save this avocado and do not play with the roots as much as possible so let me take my knife okay so here i am coming with the knife yakari is a bit worried what the heck is going on <laughs> but you know what there was no other flipping option so this is actually what really helped and made the whole process so so much quicker so i'm really happy I'm really glad I just grabbed the knife and went for it. And that's about it guys, I just reported, plopped it straight into the new pot since in the last uh, pot, the old one, the soil level was pretty low. It looks like even though the pot itself, the new one, is not higher than the old one, still the soil level is way higher and the pot itself is wider. So I think this, this beautiful avocado should be so, so much happier in this new pot. Unfortunately, I do not have the nice... <laughs> outro of this video so because once again i have no audio but just know that I really appreciate you watching till this very end please leave avocado emojis if you watched it till the very end or maybe some images regarding like related to seashore and something that speaks to you, you know i will get the idea probably thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it like this video if you did subscribe for more plenty and adventurous content please excuse the baloo crunching in the background because he's just next to me crunching on his bone anywho comment like subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye bye guys